I'm gonna make a video about why I cannot stand, I cannot stand Wisconsin fans, and I cannot stand Green Bay Packer fans. And I live in Milwaukee. Let me tell you why I don't. Ever since I was little, people have been shoving the Green Bay fucking Packers down my throat, and I hate it. I cannot stand the Green Bay Packers. Cannot stand it. You know, the Green Bay Packers, as, you know, um, as great as their aura is, and as great as a franchise as they are, owned by the people, blah, 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 shove it down everybody's throat. You need to be a Green Bay Packer fan if you live in Wisconsin. If you're not a Green Bay Packer, you can fan, you can go to fucking hell. That's as far as, you know, the fans are concerned. Um, you know, it's dumb. Um, every game that the Packers play needs to be won. Um, if it's not won, um, there's an excuse for it. Um, let me just give you an example. Tonight, um, October 5th, 2009, the Green Bay Packers play the Minnesota Vikings on one in at football. As an objective point of view, because I don't buy into all the Packers hype and fall into all the rabid, absolutely fanatical, just ridiculous fans that need Green Bay to win at all costs otherwise their life is in jeopardy they're duh Green Bay a Green Bay win is like their oxygen and without it oh they're gonna die oh I can't believe they didn't win oh I'm gonna die now so anyways um when they don't get the Green Bay win here's what happens um and these are actual quotes by Green Bay Packer fans uh okay actual quotes I'm impressed the Monday Night Football announcers called the game so clearly with Brett Favre's cock in their mouth the whole time. What a joke. Okay, so the announcers were heavy on Brett Favre. He only happens to be the third or best, uh, fourth best quarterback in football history, so no need to talk about him at all or the Green Bay-Minnesota rivalry. No need to talk about that at all when you can talk about Brett Favre. Um... What, uh, uh, really? Brett Favre does not shit bars of gold, people. Stop treating him like that. Close the damn pocket and sack his ass. Yeah, I, I, you know, the Minnesota Vikings outplay the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay's main off the, uh, defect has been their offensive line. They cannot, even against the Cincinnati Bengals, he was sacked four or five times at least uh they have no offensive line their defense is okay their coverage is spotty at times um they're okay i mean they're an okay team and you're expecting them to go to the super bowl every freaking time and normally um with fans like that i would say you know you support your team no matter what that's fine but when you come up with bs nonsense like this that people are throwing at me all the time like why are you throwing this at me I don't understand how you're blaming other people for Green Bay's shortcomings why is this happening and it's it's very it's not wearing on me because I, to be honest with you I, I, I'm used to it at this point because this is what happens in Wisconsin um, when Green Bay loses People are so distraught over it. It's just asinine. And I, I can understand if you lose a close game, but like when you get thoroughly outplayed like they were, I don't understand the thought process that goes behind it. I don't understand how everybody in Green Bay wants Brett Favre dead. I just don't get that kind of... I am a sports fanatic. I love sports, but I don't understand how you can love a franchise and just so hug on a franchise, just just grasp it so hard that like when somebody like leaves, you just I'm gonna hire a hitman. It's just I don't I don't get it. I really do not get it. How can a guy that leaves a franchise, he retires, and then 
they're like, okay, we want your decision. Okay, he retires. Fine. You're pushing him into it, but whatever. Um, and then he tries to come back, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Aaron Rodgers our quarterback. And he's like, okay, well, if he's going to be your quarterback, then I'm leaving. And everybody, he signs with the Jets, and everybody's like, I want his head on a stick. I want it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? They decided... Aaron Rodgers was their quarterback, so now Brett Favre wants to play for another team, and they won't let him play for a team inside the division, so he goes to the New York Jets. Let him do his thing, he does his thing, he's done. Nobody cares, right? So then he joins the Minnesota Vikings. Two years, two effing years after the Green Bay Packers decided that Brett Favre wasn't going to be their quarterback. Two years. You're done. Leave us alone. Fine. Brett Favre joins it. He may have ulterior motives. I want to join the Minnesota Vikings because I want to beat the shit out of the Green Bay Packers. Why the fuck do you care? He wasn't good enough to be your fucking starting quarterback. He wasn't good enough for you. Aaron Rodgers is our starting quarterback now. Fine. So why do you care that much that Brett Favre is the Minnesota Vikings starting quarterback? Oh, you only care now that he beats the shit out of you because he has the superior team? Yeah, that's it. That's it. I don't. I really do not understand. And now, not only does he come back, come back to a division rival as a starting quarterback and beat you, he beats the shit out of you. He throws for nearly 300 yards and three touchdowns, and now you're butt hurt about it now it's the referees it's the announcers it's everybody else's fault except for the green bay packers right because the because nobody else can do any wrong except for the green bay packers organization everybody else is at fault here the referees they're paid off referees must be paid off that's how brett Favre wins he he must be paid off because that's the only way he could win it's not the packers offensive line it's not the packers defense it's not the Packers' offense It's or the coaching. It's that the Minnesota Vikings have a shitty team. They have a shitty defense, offense. Uh, the announcers suck and they're biased. Um, maybe it's just, you know, one of the Monday Night Football announcers happens to be John Gruden, who played with, who was uh, Brett Favre's coach in Green Bay for a couple of years. And he loves the guy. Or maybe the fact that Brett Favre has the most touchdown passes in NFL history. Could be that. Or he has the streak for, um, you know, most consecutive game plays, games played. Uh, oh, oh, no, no. Those, those were only facts that were convenient when he played for you when you needed to shove in people's faces. Oh, I get it. So when he plays for another team... Those facts are irrelevant, and it's the referees who are biased. It's the announcers who are biased. I get it. That, uh, that's a great way to look at it. Um, Green Bay Packers fans, biased Green Bay Packer fans, you are not sports fans. You are not football fans. You are succubus nuthuggers, and it fucking pisses me off. You guys need to learn how to watch the game unbiasedly because until you do green bay packers you can fucking go to hell